Welcome in to the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller still in a little bit of the after recovery and after glow of our trip here to North Carolina. Thanks for joining us. Here it is Tuesday morning, August 9th. I'm going to go into a theme, kind of continuing what we talked about yesterday. It still is in the chart today. I saw it online last night, and our group experienced it several times over the weekend. Now, I'm a Scorpio. I'm a very strong Scorpio (laughs) with all that stellium in there, and also very Neptunian. So this is going to be a little bit too woo-woo and a little bit too Scorpio. I'm just saying. Give me a hall pass here, but I think this is important that we look at in context of where this chart has been over the last few days. And my goodness, I saw it again last night. Here somebody said that her uncle had been involved in a bad motorcycle accident on Sunday, and now it's worse than they originally anticipated. Then a lot of the comments said, oh my gosh, I had something like that happen too. So it also touched our group over the weekend. Two people were headed here on Wednesday, got almost to the North Carolina border, and had to turn around because of the sudden death in their family. That was on top of another death that occurred in that family on Monday that they were going to go ahead and go to the event anyway, but then when the second one hit, they had to turn around. Well, if you remember last week, there was a U.S. congresswoman killed outside of Elkhart, Indiana, And that second death of that family member, her residence was right near where that head-on collision of that congresswoman took place. So the EMS crews couldn't get to her residence. There was a delay there because the roads were shut down for the congresswoman's accident. So here's a national news story that touched one of the very people who was going to actually help me lead the group. So if you remember when the moon entered Scorpio last Thursday, and I did that podcast and I just said, "Ooh, I've got to stop. And it, there was so much going on in my world that I didn't process that really in the best way. And that's what we're going to get to here in a minute. I think there's a better metaphysical woo-woo way that we can address these things. Well, then if you remember last week, we had news that three people got under a tree during a thunderstorm right outside the White House, and lightning struck the tree and they were all killed. Two of those people were the parents of a dear friend of one of our other participants. And remember, Uranus, Mars, the North Node, and Taurus, and then opposed by that South Node moon over at least Thursday, Friday, into Saturday, was a trigger moon. Here are two national news stories that had direct correlations with our group. Then, when we were hiking way back in the woods, a news car pulls up from Asheville, and they asked if we were part of a search party. No, but asked what was going on, and they said a young college student had gone missing in the Smoky Mountains, and they had found his car up the road and just wondered if we were part of a search party. Well, his body was discovered that very morning, about an hour north of where we were in, yes, a less accessed area. Well, then I get on last night and I see people talking about it. And then I look at today's chart where the big aspect of today has already taken place. It was early this morning, 1.17 Eastern Time. Venus opposed Pluto at 26 degrees, 53 minutes. Pluto in Capricorn, Venus on its way out of Cancer. And today's moon, all the way until early Thursday morning, is in Capricorn. Tomorrow morning, at about 9.45 in the morning, the moon will conjoin Pluto. More death symbolism. So what do we do? Well, this is where I felt badly about, and I went back and retraced this, about my initial even stopping, because here I was looking about starting our trip, and I was looking at the very time that our trip was starting, and was too busy (laughs) How many times do we say that in our lives, right? Too busy, too much going on to properly address that moon. What we do and what we did on the trip was we did a lot of protecting. And and here's where this is going to take a hard right turn to woo-woo, is we did a lot of putting ourselves in a protected bubble. We put white light around our group. We asked for protection for our relatives, 
We didn't do it once. We did it every day after especially that first news. So here's where we use astrology. We use it to show us where the hot spots are. And quite honestly, right now, they're in every section of this chart in some way or another. And in the collective, we are seeing that played out. And when I looked at a start time for our group, that symbolism was there. And look at how it touched our group so prolifically. So things you can do. Number one, I did this in Aspen when I was skiing up there for three years. I would ask in the morning before I went skiing, will I return in the same condition in which I am leaving if I go skiing today? If it was a yes answer, I went on, not worrying about it. If it was a no answer, which it rarely was, but a couple of times it was, I didn't go, changed my plans, and didn't worry about it. I did not look back. So if you're driving, you could say, if I take this planned route, will I be safe? Will I arrive safely? Will I have a safe arrival? Another thing is do what we did. Put a bubble around yourself. Literally imagine a bubble of shield of protection. Usually white is good. Pink light is good. Kind of represents a little bit of heart chakra. Red in there mixed in with the white. I pictured uh, when Lizzie and I drove the van back, I pictured us being protected on a cloud, literally driving or floating on a cloud that was propelled by angel wings. In other words, in the very hands of the angels guiding us back home. We had no incident, not even aggressive drivers, and that was amazing. But with energy like this in the chart, this work needs to be done at the initiation of every new event. So if you are traveling, if you are driving, if you are doing anything that would expose a heightened risk to this kind of thing, stop, pause, envision, use your imagination, create a world of safety for you, your family, if they are with you, if they are not with you, for them wherever they are. Picture your home at night being safely protected when you go to bed. This is a challenging chart. I'm not going to make any bones about that. But we don't succumb to challenging charts. And the best words that you could use are the ones we ended with yesterday and we will end with again today. In the name of the Most High, I command protection for my family. In the name of the Most High, I command protection for this trip. In the name of the Most High, I command this for my life.